Toxicodendron radicans is the scientific name of poison ivy. It's in the same family as mangoes and cashews, the Anacardiaceae, which has lots of species in the tropics, relatively fewer species that make it up into temperate areas. We regard it as being an undesirable weed because of the allergic reactions that we have to it, but it's native right here to the eastern U.S. So poison ivy, but also many other plants in the family, produce a variety of chemical compounds. In poison ivy, it's called urushiol, and it's not as though the chemical is causing our bodies to do things, it's the allergic reaction that we have when we come into contact with it. And if you're exposed in the summer, it's from the leaves or vines. If it's in the winter, it's almost always the vines and the roots that you'd be exposed to. Poison ivy is one of those plants that can grow in almost any location. You can find it in full sun, you can find it at the edge of grassy fields, you can find it in the deep woods. The old adage is, leaves of three, let it be. But it actually doesn't have three leaves, Rather, it has a leaf that is subdivided into three leaflets. The old saying, three leaves, let it be, is probably a wise one. It's the kind of plant you do not want to get up close and personal with. If you're going to go into an area where you know you've got poison ivy, wear long pants, wear long sleeve shirts if you're going to be into that situation, wear gloves. The less you can have skin contact, the less opportunity you have to be exposed to it. Poison ivy is one of those plants that if you only know three or four plants, this is a good one to know.